Jesus traveled through Israel, and his journey led him to Jerusalem. And he was preaching God's new kingdom, where the ones who serve are the highest. This new kingdom threatened the religious leaders at the time, because they feared that their power would be gone. So they planned to kill Jesus. Their plan to kill Jesus should have met Passover. Passover is the holy week where the Jews remind themselves that God rescued them from slavery in Egypt and offered a covenant. And at the Last Supper, Jesus explained the new covenant, where he has to sacrifice himself for the ones who are guilty. And after the Last Supper, Jesus goes to the garden Gethsemane, where he prays that if it is not necessary for him to die or suffer, it shall not happen. But what he wants is that God's plan is fulfilled. He overcomes these thoughts and is willing to sacrifice himself. The religious leaders come to Jesus in the garden and arrest him. They make up false charges because they are not allowed to kill him themselves. They have to bring him to Pontius Pilate and he can't find any guilt on Jesus. But the religious leaders keep insisting and they turn the people against Jesus and the whole crowd is shouting, Crucify him! So Jesus is going to be crucified. Jesus is hanging on the cross with one criminal to the right and one criminal to the left and a sign above his head, King of the Jews. And the people start mocking Jesus that he could come down from the cross, that he should save himself. But Jesus knows that he has to be sacrificed and he prays for his executors because he is full of love. Then the sky darkens and Jesus shouts, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit, and then passes away. Joseph asks if he can have the body of Jesus so he can bury him, and he is put into a grave. They seal the grave with a huge stone, and even put a Roman guard in front of it, because the religious leaders feared the disciples would do anything with the body. Three days later, women come to the grave and bring spices for the body of Jesus. But when the stone is rolled to the side, the grave is empty. There is only an angel telling them that Jesus is alive. But when the women tell the disciples that Jesus is alive, they don't believe them and some of them head home because they think it is all over. But Jesus shows himself to the disciples in many different ways and shows them that he is indeed alive and explains to them that he had to die, innocent of all charges, so the ones who are guilty can be vindicated by his resurrection. This is of course just a short summary of what happened. I want to encourage you to read the whole story yourself. You can find this story, for example, in Luke, starting in chapter 22. You can read yourselves what Jesus has done. I will leave a link to an online version of the Bible in the description, so feel free to check it out. And the making of and behind the scenes video is of course coming as well. Happy Easter! Jesus is alive!